Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to talk about the state of Mage in Phase 2. We are now over a month into the phase, and with the recent Living Flame nerf, I thought now would be a good time to do this video. In Phase 1, Mages were in an interesting spot. They were by far the best gold farmers. Whether it was open world farms or dungeon boosting, Mages were number 1. In terms of PvE, Mages were middle of the pack, due to lack of talents, high boss magical resistance, and the next rank of Fireball being learned at level 26, Mages were not a top tier DPS of the phase. Healer Mages were in an interesting spot, but their kit still felt lacking in a lot of ways. In terms of PvP, Mages were solid. Whether it was Living Bomb spamming in massive battles or Arcane Surge one-shots, Mages were definitely a great class of Phase 1. Before the Living Flame nerf, Fire Mage was by far the best DPS in Phase 2. The amount of damage Living Bomb does on Trash and some bosses is truly insane. With the new talents and runes, Fire has turned into an overall fantastic spec. Arcane still sits towards the lower end of the middle, not doing near as well as I had hoped. I will say I still prefer playing Arcane, Arcane just has very little mana issues which I find enjoyable during the raid. Frost DPS at the bottom, no shocker there. Arcane healers performing much better. At the top end, they are almost performing as well as Resto Druids. A lot of guilds use mages as a second healer, and then just let them focus on DPSing most fights. In terms of PvP, mages are killing it. Deep Frost gives mages Ice Barrier and Ice Block, which are huge for 1v1 matchups. We have also experienced the 5 mage groups at the STV PvP event, dominating the matches earning thousands of coins in a single event by AoEing at the altars. In terms of farming though, this is where things get interesting. Mages are still a top tier gold farmer, whether it's AoEing elementals or wildvine trolls in the open world farms, or selling boost in stocks or SM. Mages are still very good at making gold. However, there has been a shake up to the gold farming tier list. With the addition of Trap Launcher, hunters have become by far the easiest gold farmers and booster in Season of Discovery. Almost all of my mage friends I know have hunter alts now. And yes, I have one too. Hunters are able to utilize their pets to do massive pulls without risking death, giving them a huge advantage in the sizes of pulls they can do. On my mage, it's impossible for me to do this massive pull in Ulva. These level 45 trogs one shot me, but the hunter pet can make it so far deep and get all of them. Aspect of the Viper gives them infinite mana, so unlike mages where you're often oom in these big pulls, hunters are able to blast the entire time. Don't get me wrong, there are some things mages can do better than hunters. Hunters weren't able to do as big a pulls in Nomer as Taiwan was able to, since they don't have blink. But the low skill floor of hunter trap launcher farms just makes it so much more appealing to play. Seriously, my hunter at level 38 was doing pulls easier than my level 40 mage in full Nomer abyss was able to. It's very easy to do and honestly it's kind of fun. Mages are still a top tier farmer, but I would give Hunters the number one spot right now. So where are we now after the Living Flame nerf? For those that don't know, Living Flame was changed to the following. From a 60 second to 30 second cooldown, from a 20 second to 10 second duration, and its movement speed was changed from 100% to 86% of players movement speed. When I see this change, my brain tells me it was aimed at PvP. Having a fast moving living flame chase you for a full 20 seconds was definitely frustrating. To be honest, I'm not too surprised by this change, but unfortunately it is a nerf. Looking at the rankings for the last 24 hours since the nerf, Fire has fallen from 1st to 3rd, and Arcane has fallen several placings. It's barely out DPSing Frost at the 95th percentile. Depending on your distance from the mobs or boss when you cast it, it is a significant DPS loss. Even when you are fairly close, it ends up being a DPS loss in a lot of cases. Not only is the flame moving to your target slower, but you're having to do that travel time twice in one minute now. So how big of a deal is this? Well for PvE DPS it's definitely annoying. Ideally you want to be standing on bosses now to maximize your DPS. If you find yourself far away from bosses a lot, you should still probably use Living Flame. Just try and be close to things when you're casting it. For Fire DPS, it's honestly not a huge DPS loss if you're close to the boss. For Arcane though, it is a much bigger DPS loss and it makes our rotation a bit more clunky. 
For Arcane, you have to build up the four stacks of Arcane Blast before casting Living Flame. When doing this, you have to ignore Missile Barrage procs, which is a big DPS loss. Having to do this twice as often now actually hurts Arcane DPS a lot. If you want to try using Icy Veins instead, you can. Icy Veins is simming as good on fights that are 45 seconds or shorter. However, in most situations for single target DPS, it seems like standing on the boss and using Living Flame is still our best bet. You can also try out Arcane Surge, but my testing with it did not go well. In terms of trash DPS, this is probably a buff. You can use it more, but yeah. For farming, it's definitely a nerf. It made my stockades farming way more frustrating than it used to be. I had to adjust my pulls a bit and was dying a lot when I first started testing the Living Flame change. Even when using it point blank, it still feels like a huge nerf in damage. Living Flame used to be one of my top damaging spells, and now Living Bomb does way more damage. Stocks, SM Cath, and Ulda are all still possible. You definitely want more gear now, though. Caven B has a new guide on his channel for SM Cath for after the Living Flame nerf. It's an in depth guide, I highly recommend checking it out. I've also been able to do SM Cath pulls as a deep arcane spec, but if you lack gear, you're probably going to struggle in Cath. In terms of PvP, it depends on the situation. In some fights, it'll be a buff being able to use it twice, but a 20 second, faster moving Living Flame was pretty OP, so going to say it's a slight nerf overall. The spell is more clunky and less fun to use, but I feel like the nerf was needed here for sure. I might have preferred seeing a damage and move speed nerf while leaving the duration at 20 seconds. The uptime for Living Flame is a real problem right now. That or make it spawn under the target you cast it on. Is it the end of the world though? Nah. Mages are still great. Arcane took a bit of a DPS nerf and it was already mid, so that kind of sucks. But oh well. Shoutouts to KVNV, Taiwan. Frostodamus, and Zico for being awesome mages. Their clips were featured in this video and you'll find their channels linked down below. Fire is still an excellent DPS spec and we can still do all our old boosts and farms. It's just a little bit harder. My mage is still my main though. I will be maining him into phase 3 and beyond. Just expect me to be leveling 100 alt shortly after my mage hits max. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Take care and see you in the next one, boys.